Hey there Pisces, welcome to your, the person on your mind. This is looking at the person on your mind, surprisingly, how they feel about you, um, how they're feeling towards you right now in, in the next uh, month or so, what their intentions are towards you and what they want to say to you, you know, what's in their heart to say to, to you that you need to know. Um, we're going to go into an extended to see what more they want to say to you depending on like everything else that comes out and it's been really insightful <laughs> i can tell you that much um we clarify certain things as well and also look into their likely actions towards you as well as their the next what's next in the connection between you two okay so when it comes to the person on your mind How do they feel about Pisces? How does the person on Pisces' mind? The Pisces watching this right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, we'll take them. Why not? Oof. Take everybody. All right, my friend. They have a lot of feelings <laughs> when it comes to you. <sighs> this is going to be exciting. I don't think you will be able to see all the cards. These want to be up here. I don't think you will, my friend. At least there's some space over here. All right, this is pretty, but we're getting down to business. So, wow, 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 wow. Oh my goodness. Right, okay. This person, Pisces, um, when it comes to how they feel about you, they walk on eggshells when it comes to you, okay? Um, they walk on eggshells when it comes to you, and this is something that maybe you don't know, but it is. They treat you with a level of... Um, let me just put you up here with a level of reverence um, and that impacts like the dynamic this person I, 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 they, they have this really true connection with you and they like having you around and being with you and spending time with you and exploring you and getting to know you and they really enjoy you it's just this reconciliation is kind of confusing and when i put it like this this doesn't feel true <laughs> so i don't know what this means for you we're gonna we're gonna clarify this in, in a bit but this person feels good about you they enjoy the time with you they put everything aside when it comes to you they will make time for you they keep an open mind about you and what you guys do and they feel strongly towards you they like playing with you they like enjoying time with you they like being with you but reconciliation is in the reverse so perhaps this person just enjoys you as a person and they don't want to be together or they enjoy the phase that you two are at let's clarify reconciliation please can you clarify the energy of reconciliation We have the justice, righting or wrong. We have the queen of swords and we have the ten of wands. So there is a heaviness here. It's a heaviness that can be carried. It's a burden that can be carried. Um, the queen of swords is on the positive side. So she's very astute. Um, she is clever. And, but then we have justice on the negative. <laughs> At the top of the deck, we have the ace of cups in the reverse. The nine of swords in the upright the devil in the upright the six of pentacles in the reverse and we have the five of pentacles so this is a weird weird story <laughs> cool so what it looks like to me is someone perhaps not being ready to reconcile <laughs> someone almost purposely stopping the reconciliation between you two someone not able for some of you 
what you need to know here is this person feels all these things all the signals they're putting out aren't true but when it comes to like being together they just can't or don't want to or are unable to okay and so they don't um for others of you what we're looking at here is somebody who is biding their time someone who is not yet ready um to fully heal and come back together to f fix things here to under to um understand fully what's going on they don't want to be judged um someone who's not someone who may not be ready yet to make things right okay someone who's not ready yet to come together well the ten of wands this is an energy of someone who After a long period of working really hard, there is a natural conclusion. So I feel like this person is maybe working towards this reconciliation between you two or waiting for that perfect time for things to be, but um, they're just not ready to be in the place that they think they need to be or they feel they need to be to fully <laughs> reconcile and, and come together. They don't want any distractions from the work that they're doing, right? So they still feel for you, but it's almost like someone who's a bit detached and indifferent, and yet they have all of these feelings towards you. It's very, very new. <laughs> it's very, very new. Um, with the queen and the justice here, and even the ten of wands, well, maybe just more so with the queen here, this seems like a personal choice. Even with the justice here, it seems like a personal choice, but a personal choice inspired by real life events of the ten of wands, inspired by making their way through life, wanting to be more stable. But otherwise, outside of this, this seems like someone who really cares about you they love spending time with you. They enjoy you. It's never a dull moment with um, Pisces. It's it's amazing. It's great. They do have feelings for you, warm feelings for you. You're an amazing opportunity, quite possibly a true love. I don't really feel true love usually as like what it means, like a true love. But I feel like this person does feel like you are a true love, the true love. Maybe not the one, but like this is the love they have for you is deep, Pisces. The love they have for you, the affection they have for you is deep. But with this reconciliation, for some of you, they just don't see you two ever being, not ever, but at this time being a couple or coming together or reconciling fully or whatever the case may be. I don't know why. I mean, for reconciliation to come up, it could be that you guys are not separated. You guys are all right. You're together. Things are good. It's a situationship. Or, you know, you're, 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 you're just listening for your buddy, your, your buddy, your spouse. <laughs> if you're listening for your spouse, things are fine. Things are great. Keep going. Your person loves you. They're just, you know, focusing elsewhere as well. Um, they're trying to give you the attention that you deserve, that they want to give it, that they want to give you, but also still focus on the things that they want to do. But how they feel towards you is true. It's just, there's a feeling here that you two may not come together. <laughs> And for some of them, it's because of life. And for others, it's because just now is just not a great time or what have you. But there's this coming together that is um, halted, stalled. This is beautiful. <laughs> wow. I, I Such a soft energy. Okay. All right. So, <sighs> what are their intentions towards you? What are their intentions towards Pisces? Wow, Pisces, what is happening? All 
uh, attraction at the bottom of the deck. I, I feel like this person may hide how much they're attracted to you. Um, I don't know how successful they are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how successful they are at hiding their draw to you. I feel like the smirk when I read that, like from you, just kind of being like, okay. Um, this person may just sort of be non-committal at this time, hence that whole reconciliation in reverse, which is what I'm seeing here also with the new love. I feel like this person, um, could be tied up elsewhere, but they still want you to be around in their world. Tell me about wedding. What is the energy that wedding has here? Yeah. I think they're tied up elsewhere, but again, it's exactly like I said. <laughs> this is exactly like I said. They're tied up elsewhere with this three of wands on the negative. Um, but with the sun and the six of pentacles, they still really love spending time. This person could honestly be believing towards you, Pisces, that you are their one true. This could be the one, like I said before, not the one, but this is looking like some the one energies. And yet again, I've shuffled and we have the five of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. This person might be down and out financially. This person may be in a place where they're not able to give more than they're giving right now. Um, and they can't really think beyond trying to get out of the cold of their life. Um, or perhaps there's coldness between you two, but they feel so happy with you. We have the sun. I mean, come on. You know, it's just beautiful, fun times. And the Six of Pentacles is giving, you know, giving, receiving, sharing, um, being a part of it. So I think they want to give you what they can. Um, but also, there's still some other stuff that's going on for them that they're waiting, that they cannot move on. Um, that they can't move on. What are these other things that are happening? What are they waiting for? The Four of Swords, the Two of Swords the knight of wands and the nine of wands um lots of swords and lots of wands so this is very i don't know i mean swords are not really tangible energy three of cups at the bottom of the deck um it just feels very yang energy i don't know with the action energies it's just both of these are in action right two of swords is decision making not really sure which way to go trying to trust your intuition and see which way the wind blows the four of swords is just chilling straight chilling um not deciding choosing not to choose the knight of wands is in and out energy but this is the knight of wands on the negative side so that's kind of not the best but um it's it's an impetuous person someone who maybe made some mistakes in the past um, and is still living from that space. So the Nine of Wands here is someone who's still willing to fight for what they want. So I think this person is, is still going through what they are going through on their end with that Three of Wands over there. But yeah, I feel like their intentions towards you are, are very good, Pisces. How do you feel about them? I mean, what's going on here? How does Pisces feel about this person? Okay. Hard to hard conversations in reverse. Wow, Pisces. Okay. Um, and trust. So I feel like trust is in a wonky, and then we have children in the bottom of the deck. So I don't feel like you. <laughs> there's some things between you two that are unsaid it could be that you pisces have some things that you just don't want to share you've sort of reconciled yourself to keep them to yourself um not really talk about it or not really know how to talk about it i think that's what you're thinking is being the bigger person just getting along to get along by not bringing certain things up. I think the eggshells that they were that I was picking up before in this reading are coming up here for you with this trust. 
vibrationally i think this person on your mind pisces can feel that you two aren't where you could be in your dynamic yes they're happy yes they like you yes they enjoy your company yes 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 but things are not where they could be in this dynamic and that is something that you really at least coming up here the side of you that's showing up is that you really do feel the presence of whatever pink elephant exists in your dynamic but you don't talk about it i want to go into what they what they want to say to you that's what i want i want to see that because this is a very interesting story What do they want to say to Pisces? Wow. We will be doing an extended where we will be pulling more channeled messages um, from the Hidden Truth as well as my own deck. Um, we'll be going way deeper in the extended. And also look at their likely actions. I mean, this is a very interesting pile to me um this is very different at least from my recollection of how the other zodiac signs have gone pisces pisces you stay having like the sweetest energy you're so page of cups to me like ugh, love that but this is a very interesting situation it feels like you're not really having it with this person um at least that's like the foremost energy that is coming in this dynamic coming forward from your end um what they want to say to you is i love you i hide behind material things i wish i could share my good news with you i'm not interested i daydream about you and us pleasing you pleases me wow I want peace, just peace. I know what you want me to do and say, but I'm not there yet. All I really wanted was to talk to you. Or all I really want is to talk to you. So, a lot of what we were, uh, what came up before is showing up here with this all I really want is to talk to you. Um, this person here, Pisces, wants you in their life however way they can get you they have feelings for you um they they have them their intentions towards you are did we even finish that i don't think we did their intentions towards you are to continue having you in their life to commit to having you in their life um, that's really what I'm getting there, but to sort of maintain the status quo of having you in their life and having you in their life and having you in their life. Um, I think they're optimistic about the future here in terms of their actions and optimistic about offering you what they can, um, being good to you and all these things, but there's something amiss here in your dynamic, right? with that reconciliation that we looked at earlier i don't believe they can offer you new love i don't believe they can let you in past a certain point you know this thing that you two is the pink elephant between you um what is what is the elephant what is that whole mistrust the empress and the strength so perhaps not moving forward not feeding the relationship when it was necessary to um and not not giving to it or not allowing it to blossom to where it could go paying attention to other things um also here there could be something here with mothers um mother relationship could be getting in the way here with the empress uh female relationships female dynamics <laughs> B 
But yeah, I feel like they want to let you in. Would not pass a certain point. And they're looking at the dynamic with you in a more realistic way. I feel like this person doesn't believe they can have you. I wish I could share my good news with you. Yeah, they're not they're they're not saying something. You know, what is the good news? What is the good news? Eight of Wands in the reverse and the star in the reverse. What I get immediately is like someone sharing the good news about like a breakup <laughs> and how they were able to escape. Um, someone sharing essentially what that vibe is, is someone sharing good news that might trigger you in a negative way. You know, um, if, if, if you are getting, this is, this is a random example. If you're getting back together with an ex that you haven't talked to in a while and you two are rekindling your relationship and you both want to be in each other's lives, but you know that maybe what tore you apart was an affair or some betrayal in the past, some tryst some third party stuff but now you're back in each other's lives and years have passed um it might be salty a salty area or a tricky area for you two to start talking about oh yeah i dated this person and this is what i learned you know um this is what i learned from being away from you or this is like that that type of vibe of like oh this is a tricky subject and i don't want to ruffle any feathers so i feel like there's some good news that comes with some craziness that they don't want to share with you for others it's almost like sometimes when someone gets you know a job out of the country or out of state and it pays this this much and maybe they don't want to share that good news because you know that move is detrimental to the relationship or the amount of money they're making is detrimental to the relationship in a certain way like it just feels like something that would trigger that they believe would trigger the relationship in a negative way dynamic between you two in a negative way and what pleases you pleases them um they daydream about you and and each other this could be long distance as well just with some of the cards that came up earlier so if this is long distance this person and maybe you've never met or you've met or you know whatever maybe not long distance but whatever the case maybe this person daydreams about you in situations that you have not had with them yet so you know a new restaurant opens up and they imagine going there with you it's like you guys never actually went there there's no memory there but it's a daydream you know um i'm not interested so i love you and i'm not interested this is that reconciliation energy in the reverse coming up they this is really what this reading is how they feel towards you is they have strong feelings for you right they have strong feelings for you but they can't indulge in them they can't indulge in them they're not gonna allow themselves to indulge in them and this could even be one of these things like oh i've realized like you you know helped me out of this dark night and i love you but i wouldn't tell you that because no <sighs> this person isn't interested in having a love affair at this particular moment in time they just want peace. I know they know what you want them to say, what you want them to do, but they're just not there yet. You know, all they want is to have you around. All they want is to have you in, in their life. Children here. I didn't even see this. Children here. Very interesting because we had children at the bottom of the deck in the reverse and then on your side. Um, maybe there is an issue here between you two having um, dreams of kids. I want kids. I don't want kids. Oh, that's an issue. But let's clarify this a bit more. Maybe they're making decisions that um, they... Oh, I just got, for some of you perhaps, this is very rare. I don't know who this could be for, but they could be... <laughs> they could have had a kid or could have a kid and, you know, they want to tell you. But again, that's one of those, like, triggering things um where it's like oh how could you have a kid with someone else 
they're excited to be a parent, but they can't tell you. Or maybe, yeah, maybe they're not excited. It's just they just can't share. <laughs> it's difficult too. Um, tell me about children. Oh my god, this comes out so many times. I can feel the desperation. I don't want it. You're very important to me. Tell me more about children. What's the energy here? Children, what are they trying to say? For some of you, perhaps they do want children with you. They want a family with you. Come through, Travis Barker. Courtney. I love their love, man. I love it. I'm here for it. Um, you've changed my mind over a few things. Okay, so maybe you've changed their mind over having kids. Maybe that's something that in your dynamic was was shared. Um, or maybe you've changed something about their kids if you've been seeing someone with kids and something that you inspired them to do or told them to do has yielded good results and they just wish they could tell you that. Um, your, patience is, uh, your patience is wasted on me. So... If it's about somebody's biological clock and having kids because they're not ready for some of you, that could be something where, you know, waiting for them is wasting your time, your very real biological clock time. Um, that was a very <laughs> interesting reading. So Pisces, what we're going to do next is look at what's next in the connection, okay? What's next in this connection spirit? What's next for Pisces and their person in this connection spirit? Thank you for being here. Wow. Which, oh, you can't even see that. <laughs> I don't look at you through the camera. I look at I look at the message. So if you ever see me talking like over here, I'm like in the message. I'm not trying to <sighs> be a content creator. But, um, okay. Man, cross, heart, scythe. Oh, um, <laughs> let's look at your guidance in this situation. What is the guidance for Pisces given all this? What is the guidance for Pisces at this time? In the extended, we're going to see what their actions, what their likely actions are. Um, we're going to see what their likely actions are as well as dig deeper into this what's next in the connection and see what else they want to say. See what comes up in the extendeds. They've been really fun for me to explore and see what more is going on with people. Um, so that's always, that's just been a blast. So if you'd like to follow me there, feel free to. We have man and cross both in this sort of reversed position and we have heart and scythe. So the heart and the scythe are two jacks and the, 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 oh my gosh, the cross is, this is six of clubs. Yeah, six of clubs. So in any case, we're going to go into that to see what this energy is, but there is a sense of action being taken next in the connection. Um, something's being cut out. But we're going to go into a little bit more. I'm very curious about this cross and this heart. Um, but before I go into more of that, I want to get into your guidance, which is orphaned and here and now. Don't abandon yourself. Um, don't abandon yourself because of this dynamic. Um, sometimes there's these ideas of like the twin flames and, and these sort of concepts that take place in our lives. But it's still saying... Don't think so much about the future or the past and don't abandon yourself in the present. Don't abandon how you're feeling right now. Don't abandon what you need right now. Don't abandon you for a connection and scenario that 
may not fully be present for you in the way that you want. Um, shift into a commitment to your own growth. And it, it, yeah, into, into, excuse me, into your, your own, your own growth. You two may be at different stages for now in your personal growth with each other, but take heart and don't compromise yourself to be long because things are sort of still in flux here with this here and now and the protection. It just feels like you're neither here nor there. It's not between worlds, but it just feels like whatever decisions you make moving forward, don't let those decisions be ones where you abandon yourself. If you're too much into the past or too much into the present or even too much into the ethereal, the mystic and the like, like now is what counts. Um, be in this moment and don't abandon how you are currently experiencing the now and take care of yourself in that. So what we're going to do now is actually follow this energy through to the extended reading where the link is in the description box below to go into um what's happening here what their likely actions are given you know all these this very complex yet simple story very curious um so if you're following along we'll see you there i'm shuffling for that right now um, if you're not, feel free to come through for a personal reading or, but until then, keep your light on. Good luck. Check out the membership. If it's something of value to you, I think you won't be disappointed. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. What are their likely actions towards Pisces? <laughs> 